said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to a land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and he took his nephew Lot with him and set out for the land of Canaan. Uncle. Yes, Lot. What have you done now? Our livestock, they need rest. They need water. Of course they do. It's a long journey. Indeed it is. A journey you said was commanded by God. Ah. Some are starting to see you're mad. What do you say, Lot? Why did you decide to bring me? Why did you decide to come? Ever since my father died, you've treated me like your son. You've divided your possessions to me. I, I could never repay you. You'll never have to, Lot. You'll never have to. <laughs> And God was with Abram, and both he and Lot increased greatly. And their abundance was so great that the land could not support both of them. And there were quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram and the herdsmen of Lot. Lot, God has given us great abundance. The land can no longer support both of us in one place. And I've heard that there are quarrels between our herdsmen. My men were there first. Lot, is not the whole land before us? If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. The plains of Jordan are beautiful. And well watered like the garden of the Lord. I choose the east. So be it. Lot. God go with you. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of Jordan and set out towards the east. The two men parted company. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plains and pitched his tents near Sodom. Now the men of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. So Abram moved his tents and went to live near the great trees of Mamre at Hebron, where he built an altar to the Lord. of Jordan. King Ketaloma had taken all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and... They have Lot. Lot? They've taken Lot and all of his possessions.
Arm the men! Master, they have an entire army. We have 300 men at best. God will be with us. Go. To arm! With the weapons! To arm! The king of Sodom will surely rescue us. Dead. You're safe now, Lot. Master, we've defeated the entire army and recovered all the people and spoils of Sodom that were taken. God has given us a great victory. Gather up the people. Master! The king of Sodom has asked for you. There's an assembly in the Valley of the Kings. Lot? Yes. Stay with me. taken all from me and the mighty Abram brought it back. I am the king of Sodom. We are here to celebrate your victory. I'm very pleased to have been able to rescue the people. My nephew, Lot here, he's very dear to me. Come to my table. Who is that man? Melchizedek, king of Salem. Some people say he's a king, others a priest. I say neither. I am Melchizedek, priest of God Most High. I brought you bread and wine from my table. Come and eat. Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High God, has delivered your enemy into your hand. I have taken the spoils of battle. They are mine. And to you, Melchizedek, priest of the Most High God, King of Salem, a tenth of all. <laughs> Abram, 
You are a generous man who has reclaimed all that was taken from me. Give me the people, and take all the goods for yourself. All of them. I have sworn before the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth, that I will take nothing. I will take not a thread, not a sandal. Nothing that is yours, for fear you may say I have made a rich. I will take nothing except what my young men have eaten, and a share for those men that went with me. But to Melchizedek goes a tenth of all. Very well. Wait. Abram. Abram. Do not be afraid, Abram, for I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. Lord God. Lord God, what... What would you give me seeing that I am childless? One born a servant, and my house is my heir. This man will not be your heir, but one that comes from your own body. He shall be your heir. Go outside. Look towards the heavens and count the stars. If you are able to count them, so shall your descendants be. So shall your descendants be. Oh, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for being my God. Holy, holy God. Glory, glory, glory. You are the Holy One. Glory. Glory, glory to you.